Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your daily pick a card. Take a minute. Um, yesterday, I started doing the daily pick a cards with no crystals because spirit is wanting you to go with your intuition here. And if this is the first time you're watching this video, spirit wants you to start listening to your intuition and believing in your intuition here. So even if the first few days you need to look at every card to see, you know, if you feel like it fits and you're listening to your intuition, it's just a way to start working on it and you're not second guessing yourself. Okay. So you may see sometimes that all of the cards are drawn to you and that's okay. There's no rule here that says you can only look at one card. Go within, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths. Okay? Even if you have to pause the video, just take some deep breaths. Breathe in your nose deep, out your mouth. Try to clear your head, you know, your head as much as you can and listen to what it is you're being drawn to. Okay? So let's begin. Card number one is the Page of Wands. So there's a true sense of aspiration here, a strong desire to achieve something high or great. And although the page is the youngest of his older family members, male or female, okay, because Tara doesn't have a gender, meaning that, you know, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands, it's still... The, the page, this page still embodies the same strength and he recognizes the qualities in others because he wants to he wants to possess those as well. Now a lot of you may be in the process or need to overcome some insecurity and explore the world within yourself here because this is optimistic new beginnings. You know, if you look at his staff, it's taller than him, which means, you know, kind of metaphorically, he needs to grow into it. You're still growing, so don't be hard on yourself because you are in a state of growth here. I think you're working on being vulnerable and fearless. You also need to trust and believe in yourself. Don't, don't fear of being different. You may not feel like you're filling your shoes in the place you are now. Maybe it's like you're not realizing the full potential But you are, and you're young at heart, and it takes time to grow. Things don't grow overnight, is what I'm hearing. Don't compare yourself to others. That's what I just heard. You are strengthening, and I think you recognize this. You just need to, you, you need to be more comfortable in your own skin and who you are. I feel this gives like a lot of need to look within and encourage yourself and trust yourself that you have all these beautiful qualities and don't and don't allow anyone around you to tell you differently. So don't stop because you're on the right path here. And if this isn't something you've been working on, Spirit's saying you need to start being vulnerable and trust and believe in yourself. Because you are full of potential. Okay? So I hope that helped. If this resonated, please like and subscribe and comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you tomorrow. Nine of Wands. Even though this card may look not happy 
there's a lot there's a lot to recognize here it's all about you know the nine of wands is all about boundaries it's like you know I feel at some point and maybe you're in the process of working on boundaries but like are you scared to stand up for yourself here because every time you do you're building it's like when other feel when other people feel the need to control you it's like this person's a fighter this person doesn't give up okay it's like I'm just getting a strong sense that you're learning let me back up a second you are learning boundaries here okay and although you had to go to through experiences here that were very very unpleasant unpleasant you've learned to stand up for your worth here and and this this hasn't come easy and you need to stand up to that shadow side or those shadow people who that tell you you're not good enough you're not successful enough you're not strong enough you're not whatever because there's scars from that and be proud of those scars because They've made you who you are today. It's okay to tell people no. Because it is time to put boundaries up. Be honest and clear with yourself and others around you. Because it's time. You know, the nine speaks of a completion. Like coming, things coming to an end. And I think you're coming to an end of allowing people to walk all over you. Whatever that means for you. And it's like each one of these wands is a trophy. Okay, I made a progress today. Okay, I made another, I, I, you know, however long it took, right? It's like you're protecting yourself. You're building yourself up back here. Because you are determined. You don't go down without a fight. And I'm not speaking, you know, physically fighting. Hopefully that's not the case. But you're strong. <laughs> You've gained a lot of strength through all of this that you've been through. And you need to be proud of yourself. And you need to confront any self-limiting attitudes and expectations here. Some of you are just too hard on yourself. So when you, if, if, if that inner voice eats at you, oh, you know, from based on if people said it or... People have said certain things that have gotten you in the place of doubting yourself. You say, no, no. Shut that, short, shut that voice down. And keep fighting. Even if it's with that voice within you. Be proud of yourself. You've truly come a far way. I love, you know, I love this card, even though it doesn't look perhaps the most appealing. There's a lot to be said here versus a man just kneeling down and you can be a female. You've been through some stuff and now I'm proud of you and keep going. I hope, I hope this helped. Please like subscribe and comment if you feel, if you feel to, if you choose to, <clears throat> I would greatly appreciate it. I apologize. I haven't been feeling too well, so <clears throat> keep standing in your power, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Card number three is the Queen of Swords. So, you know, swords are about clarity, right? And, I, and the Queen of Swords is about personal order here, personal authority. It's, she brings order to chaos, she, you know, and boundaries. She doesn't apologize. She stands up to bullies who question, who question her. 
she also will question rules or people that don't make logical sense okay like why is this in place and it's like is your career in line with your true self here are things in line around you with your true self you know the queen of swords gets a bad press she she really does because it's like a lot of people see the queen of swords as a bitch when really it's male or female right it's like she doesn't allow herself to be minimized by roles and conventions how she should act how she should be you know it's It's like in modern society nowadays, and I felt this where I worked, that women were to kind of be seen and not heard, even in today's society, it, whether you're a male or female. So let me just throw that out there because males feel like this as well. But it's like, you know, women are supposed to have this likable and selflessness, you know, Versus being strong, powerful, ambitious kind of persona, you know, which is why the Queen of Swords isolates herself. So a lot of you need to reacquaint yourself with your personal authority and realize the power you have behind yourself, male or female, okay? A lot of you need to be more disciplined, have more boundaries here. You need to come into your queen of swords. Don't worry about being liked. Be honest with yourself. Don't apologize who you are. You need to own it. You know, the queen of swords has strong boundaries. It's like she knows how to, you know, she went from victimhood to victorious. And stayed in this Queen of Swords. You know, stay, stand in your power with the Queen of Swords attitude. Don't let others define who you are or who you should be. Regardless of any reason, you do what's right. Cut the voices out of other people who have expectations of you. The Queen of Swords bows down to no one. No one. And I think that's what you needed to do not, that's what you needed to hear. Do not sell yourself short here. Know your worth, know your value because what you see in yourself or what you need to see in yourself is very powerful. So I hope that helps. Keep standing in your power. If this resonated, please like, subscribe, and comment. I respond to all my comments as I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.